Hello everybody, welcome to this special Sunday Family Arts. My name is Austin Kwasinski and today Easter is just around the corner. It's coming up next week so I thought it'd be really fun to try these Easter themed puffy paintings and this is really a lot of fun because we're not going to be using our typical acrylics or our watercolors and stuff. We're actually going to be making our own paint today and it's really cool because we can make a bunch of different colors using food coloring and stuff. Uh, so this is an example that I did for, it's coming starting to come apart a little bit but it's really cool because once it actually dries it starts to actually get really nice and hard and you have an image that actually uh, comes off the page as you can see that um, when I hold it up to the camera here it's really um, in three dimensions and looking really really cool so for this project we're gonna need uh, a bunch of ingredients and materials and stuff so I'm just gonna walk over or talk through uh, some of the ones that we need so we're going to need a mixing bowl to mix everything together. Uh, our three core ingredients are going to be shaving cream. Make sure that we use the foamy kind. Uh, we're going to need some glue. So I just have that in a little container to keep it uh, less messy. And also some flour as well. Uh, to measure everything out, we're going to need some mixing cups. Um, we're going to need a spatula to kind of mix everything together. Uh, plastic baggies are what we're going to actually use to put our mix in and actually uh, use that to paint with. I got some spoons here so we can just use that for the mixing process. And then also some food coloring as well. I know you can get the ones that are drops, uh, but this one's like almost like kind of like a gel. So we're, that's the one I had, so we're going to use that today. But the drops would probably work um, just, as, just as well, if not better. And also some scissors to cut the tips to make our mix. I also have some uh, paper towel to clean up anything, any messes and stuff. I also have this nice um, newspaper to kind of block out, make sure it doesn't get everywhere. And then also these little containers to put uh, individual colors in. And then for the background, what we're going to use is just any construction paper. You can choose whatever color you want. Uh, for today's demo, I'm going to use black. And I think that should be everything. So we can actually get started. Uh, so the uh, recipe that we're going to use, I'm going to actually write it down here. So hopefully you guys can see this. It's going to be one and a half of shaving cream. Uh, half a cup of glue. And then half a cup Of flour so hopefully you guys can see that and as I'm going on if you need the measurements they are right here all right so let's get started so what we're gonna need is gonna shake this up a little bit take that cover off and then we're gonna just apply shaving cream like so so this is one cup what we're gonna do we could even use our fingers if we need to get rid of it like so there we go spatulas probably even better than that like so and then we'll take again and we can use another half a cup so that way and just make sure that's in our bowl like so try to get as much as you can sometimes it might be difficult to get all of it but we're gonna do our best there all right so that should be the shaving cup and then next is gonna be the glue so we're gonna take this in and this will be half a cup of glue I've already pre-measured it so we have it in this nice container here. Let's just go ahead and mix that in there. All right. Make sure to get as much as we can in that way. Make 
And then for the flour, what we're going to do is we're going to do a half a cup of flour. So I'm going to move this over to the side here, half a cup of flour. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix it in together and I'm going to put in a little bit of flour at the time while mixing. So I'll put it in a little bit like so. And then we'll start to mix it up a bit. That consistency is really starting to come together. So instead of doing it all right away, just do a little bit at a time. And just fold it over. There you go. So this is this recipe is going to make uh, quite a big batch, and this is going to be really useful for actually making multiple colors at the same time. I'll try not to hit the mic a little bit. Yeah, now it's starting to get a real, real nice consistency. Hopefully, you guys can see that, like so. Starting to come together. Starting to get nice and thick. And so what I'm going to do when I have this all done and mixed together is I'm going to separate it into the three. Depending on how many colors you want to use, you don't have to do this. If you just want um, all yellow uh, food coloring, you, like, you can totally do that, or all red. But in this instance, I'm going to try to get all of that. There you go. It's really starting to mix together. Just like that. Oh, sorry about that. My microphone's like right next to my hand, so I'm trying not to hit it as much. All right, so now that we got that, I'm gonna try to separate it into these three containers here. Try to make it as even as possible, like so. Two, and then the third one. There you go. All right. I think this middle one needs a little bit more, and probably the first one. All right. So now that we got most of that out of the way. And I got a nice cloth with me too, so if my hands get messy, which which they do, just give that a quick wipe and uh, get rid of all that stuff, and you should be good to go. So next will be the food coloring. So let's get all this bowl out of the way because we do not need it anymore. So I have this gel stuff. So again, um, depending on what you have at home, the drop stuff might work better, but we're just going to use this gel. And then to actually get out the colors, I'm going to use these toothpicks. So I'm going to mix this together and I'm just going to put a bit of dashes in there like so. And then I'm probably going to get the other end, dip it in a little bit. And I encourage you if you're doing this at home to work together, um, two hand, or four hands is better than two. so. Uh, definitely encourage that and then to mix it together I'm just gonna use the back of the, my spoon you can use the front like so I'm just gonna fold it over hopefully you guys can see that and now that the food coloring is starting to mix we're starting to get this nice nice color in there Mix it all together. That's looking really nice. All right. So this is why I have three separate spoons, just because it'll make things a little bit cleaner again. Uh, if you're near a sink or anything, just wipe it off and then you can use the same spoon for the next one. 
So the next color, because we're uh, going to be doing Easter colors, uh, we can do violet. So again, same thing. Dipping it in there a little bit, mixing that color. Hopefully you guys can see that. Move it up a little bit. And then using the other side, I'm assuming if you're doing uh, the drop drop version, I think you only need like a couple drops. It's not too too much. There you go. My hands a little bit. We'll take our second spoon and mix this guy together. There you go. Now you can see we're starting to get that purple color. is really really nice it's really bright purple like so all right I like the consistency of that so that will be good and then last but not least um, we have uh, we're gonna do a yellow color so should get that going I'll give it a quick all around mix one more time after this, but it should be good. All right, and then last but not least, the yellow. Grab my toothpicks again. There you go. Just put a couple in, don't need too much. And we'll use the other end. Like so. Get rid of that. We don't need it anymore. And then we'll use the last but last spoon and then mix this one together. There we go. That color is starting to turn out really, really nice. I'm trying to mix it as much with the white as I can. Because I want to make sure that. There you go. I want to make sure that the color is consistent. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, what we need to do, we're probably gonna use the spatula again. So I'm gonna take my paper towel real quickly because I don't have a sink with me and just clean up the spatula as much as I can. So what we're gonna do is take uh, one of each color and we're gonna put it into a, a baggie which is going to make it so that we can use uh, use it as our paint. So the trick to this uh, that I learned is that we have to make sure our baggie is going to be open, uh, put it inside the baggie, and then grabbing, put it like in the far corner, and then grabbing as much as you can pull away from it like that and that's going to make your bag uh, as clean as possible because this can be real messy we want to try to avoid as much mess as possible all right so stick it in the baggie as far as it'll go pull like so there you go i think that should be good for this one And then what we'll do is we'll close the bag, like so. And make sure that it's all the way down into that corner. It might be a little messy, so we'll just wipe off what, what comes there. There we go. 
Pushing it down as much as I can. There we go. And what we're going to do, we'll move the purple out of the way just so we can show this a little bit better. And we'll do it this way. Get these guys out of the way. Cleaning up shop here a bit. So now that we have this is our base, what we want to do is we want to cut a little bit at the end, like so. And then when we squeeze, we're going to have be able to make our shapes. So I got this nice black area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start to paint with it. So I'm going to try to make this egg shape. As best as I can. There you go. Put that in a little bit. There you go. It's not quite a perfect egg, but hey. You can always go in and retouch stuff. Or do multiple multiple versions of this. This project is really, really fun. Do. And now what we can do, now that we have the outside of the egg, we can use our other colors. Start to decorate the inside a bit. Let's fill that, fill that gap a little bit. Again, you can move it around. You can adjust it and finagle it a little bit. All right. So we got something like that. And then what we can do now that's basically our palette we can use another color let's do this do yellow I think yellow is really nice again I'm gonna wipe might wipe this with the cloth get rid of all that excess stuff we might have a little bit of purple in there if you're at home near a sink I recommend uh, just cleaning this up a bit yeah I also have a wet cloth so that will work too and we'll do the same thing for the yellow. So let's move this guy just out of the way a little bit. Get rid of the spoon. We don't need it for now. Again, we're going to try to scoop up as much as we can. Make sure, oop, getting it caught in my own piece. We'll use a different one. Let's see. Let's move that out of the way just a little bit. Make sure this bag is nice and open. I'll try to get as much as possible here. All right. Push it as far down as possible. See, it's good to have your bag nice and open. Uh, if you do that, because what will happen, and I'll show you. So again, we want to push it as far back as possible. Try to close that up. It can get really messy. And this is the way not to do it. <laughs> so as you can see, move that over a little bit. I'm not going to close this bag because I made a bit of a mess, but I'm going to push it down as much as I can that corner like so there you go got a lot up up there so I'm trying to move it down And what we can do now, not the cleanest version of this, but that's okay. We'll cut it. And now what we can do 
So you can start to style it a little bit. So this one's going to be nice and thick. So depending on the cut, uh, you'll either have super thin or super, super thick lines, like so. There you go. So if you cut too much, you'll have something that's like uh, really, really thick. But that's okay. We'll embrace the thickness. Push it down a little bit further. There you go. So we have a little mix of color there, which is nice. We can accent it with this. little drops here like so I'll make it just like this Just like that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try one more time with the green just before we go. Just to see if we can get that one to be cut a little bit better than what it was. Here. Let's clean off that spatula really quickly. Make sure the bag is nice and open. That'll probably be better. Like so. Try to get it nice in that corner there. Uh, an also easier way to do this would be, um, what's it called, if you had any uh, bottles or anything like that, uh, that you could put the stuff in and squeeze bottles would be perfect. Uh, but this is also an alternative that we can do. So make sure this bag is nice and open. Squeeze that as much as we can. Yeah, it's a little messy, but that's okay. I'll embrace the mess for the for the meantime. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little bit smaller than I did last time. That's why the yellow came out so big. I'm just gonna make a really tiny cut. And I'm gonna show you what happens when we do that. So make when we make a really tiny cut like that. You know, we can have something that's a lot more fine, right? So you can have like, there you go. So the tinier the cut, the more control that you're gonna have with your piece, which is actually gonna be really cool. So let's do. Make sure I'm pushing it all the way to the end there. And you can do other design patterns and stuff like this. 
so but yeah this is a lot of fun so uh, definitely encourage you to try it out and see and see all the different shapes and stuff that you can make out of it I just wanted to show you this as an example of things that you could do like that so there we go we got a nice colored egg like so again we can add more flair to it if we want oh there you go got a little caught there push it all the way down see it go something like that so I definitely encourage you to try this out at home and uh, see what you get see see the different colors that you come up with uh, by making the food coloring and stuff because it, it is definitely a lot a lot of fun that and then also using a black background will make it really pop out and the colors and stuff there you go something like that so again so I, I kind of did three different lengths here. Uh, if you try a thicker one, it's going to be a little bit harder to control. So just keep that in mind. Um, the thinner that you cut the top of these guys, the more control that you're going to have with your actual marks and stuff. And again, you can try all these different colors and see which ones that, that you like and which ones look better. And then when this dries, we're going to get something that's going to look a lot thicker and a lot, uh, a lot heavier like this. So it's really fun. So I encourage you guys to try this at home, see what uh, you come up with, and um, yeah, and go from there. Thank you so much, guys, for joining the Sunday Family Arts.